Hey guys, how's it going? This here is the uh, unboxing of the E1 chessboard. Uh, at the time I'm making this video, I just searched and I did not see another unboxing. So this might be the first unboxing on YouTube, I don't know. But anyway, um, let's just take a look at the box here. This here is the front. Uh, on the side, there's really nothing except on one side. I'll show you here in a minute. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. And then on this side here, it says that it is leechess.org, chess.com, or Tornello ready. I guess Tornello is some type of online tournament software. Um, also, this is the back side here. You can pause the video and take a look if you want to read. But it's just different languages, giving some spiels about the board here. And this is like specifications here. It also has a three-year warranty, which I, I love when a company stands behind their product. This here is item M841 if you want to search for it that way. But the one thing that I found interesting over here is that it says that it's a USB-C type connection and it has a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. So at least they've uh, done that. So all right, so this board did not come with any plastic on it. So you just kind of slide this sleeve right here off. So it has a magnetic, uh, appears to be magnetic uh, closing board. Nice, high quality board here. And we take this out. Here's the board here. Um, I think they said it's 31 centimeters by 31 centimeters, but I believe they're saying the board itself, not the actual playing field. And we'll check that out here in a minute. So this is uh, appears to be some little literature here. Some more little literatures here. And this here's the pieces. And what I'll do first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and move this board out of the way first. And what I'll do is I will, uh, I will compare this board to the DGT Centaur in terms of size. That's all I, because the DGT Pegasus, I mean DGT Pegasus is, is the smallest board. So basically, let me hold this at an angle. This board will fit right inside the playing field of a DGT Pegasus, okay? Let me move the package out of the way here, and uh, let's take a let's let's take a few measurements here. They uh, so the actual board itself is I think they said on the box 31 centimeters, which is about a little bit about 12 and a quarter inches roughly, but the actual playing field itself is about uh, 24 centimeters by 24 centimeters, or uh, let's see nine and uh, a half inches approximately. So, let's take the pieces out. Inside of the bag here, not only do you have the pieces, but you also have the USB-C Type-C cord. Put that, put that to the side. Here are the actual pieces here. I will say the pieces, they've uh, got a little weight to them. They, uh, very, their body to them is kind of slim, so I got some piece comparison. This is the Pegasus pieces. And again, I'm just comparing it to the Pegasus just because of the size of the board and the size of the pieces so you can get a good sense of how big these uh, pieces are, okay? So that's that. Let's try, let's do, I'm gonna do all the pieces just like here's a knight coming up next and see if we can get that into focus there. Okay, let's do the rook next. Okay, got the rook. Let's do the uh, king next. See what the king sizes look like so we can get that into focus. There we go. And also, uh, my audio might be a little bit low, and that's because I got an update onto my camera on my phone, and for some reason it uh, messed up the external mic feature a little bit. So that would be the reason why I'd be thinking the audio is a little low. So that's the uh, bishop. And this here is the pawn size. So as we can see, this is a bit smaller than the Pegasus, and this Pegasus is already kind of small as it is. But again, this board, I think, can make a good desktop companion. So let's set it up really quick. Um, one thing I want to say while I'm setting this up is that one thing I'm curious about, I haven't read anything about, I wonder can you store games onto the board like you can with some other boards? Or store I'm sure you can maybe store it inside the software I would think I, I, I'm not entirely sure about that but um, that's what we're going to be exploring in the next video this video here is just to um, give a just a unboxing and just to show you just give you a sense of the size of the board because I know that's probably what most people really want to see because the, the it is fairly small 
Um, but again, it, it, everything has a plus and minus, and I think the biggest plus for this is that it could be a good desktop companion where you know you don't you don't want to take a large footprint up on your desk, but you also want a solid chessboard. I mean, the pieces feel weighted. Um, it has a battery and Bluetooth built inside of it, so it's not it's not modular like uh, some of the other high quality um, um, Millennium boards. So that it has that going forward itself. So maybe you necessarily won't be able to play blitz on it i mean maybe you will and i wonder can you do over the board on this thing as well like can you play with your buddy over the board and um you know uh, save the game on the board that's what i'm more curious about but anyway um oh before i go let me measure the king for you guys just to give you a good sense of how tall the king is if i can get that in the photo the king is about uh five and a half centimeters approximately let me see if i can get that Yes, yeah, about five, just approximately five and a half centimeters. I'm just rounding up and about two and one eighth of an inch tall. So uh, with that said, that is the unboxing of the E1. Uh, the next video will be soon. I will show you, we'll go through the setup and some software features and, you know, play a game with it. So see you guys in a bit. All right. Bye.